There is so much I could say to defend the adult industry. I, what I choose to do is take his points and pretty much deal with them as much as I can one at a time. First of all, anal lingus. You take a shower with your girlfriend or boyfriend, or you sit in a jacuzzi, you get squeaky clean. You put your tongues where the sun don't shine. That's anal lingus, but I wouldn't ask my mother about it. <laughs> Secondly, the problem we face is that he deals with a very, very small percentage, and I deal with a percentage that's on the top. For everything, for every one person he can mention, any girl he can talk about that's having problems with porn, stretched via rants, or whatever he says, I'll show him a hundred to a thousand girls who've done quite well with porn. The girls that you've all heard of from Marilyn Chambers, Seika, Serena, Samantha Fox, and Ed Heyman, but that's the real. I can go on and on and on. And all these girls are happy, healthy, some are married, some are businesses, but he will focus on the very, very select few. Like he'll bring up couples who watch porn and their problems with it. Maybe it's breaking up a marriage or whatever else. So therefore, people who look at it recreationally and consensually, I guess, have a problem because a few people are a bunch of blithering idiots. I mean, look, alcohol is something that we all like to drink once in a while. There's a handful that get addicted that crash up cars. We're not gonna stop having alcohol because a couple of idiots. You know, aspirin cures a headache. Too much will kill you. There's many things that can be misused and overused and addictive. Cigarettes actually have a nicotine, which is there just to make you an addict. And porn, we like recreational users. I mean, Lord knows, you know, the church had to pay what? $600 million right here. $600 million they had to pay in Los Angeles for crimes against little children. I don't see anybody closing down the church. You don't blame, you know. <laughs>